Hello, I'm Storm Tracker 18 Weather Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer. It was a daily record rainfall yesterday with over an inch and a half of rain at the Chippewa Valley Regional Airport, which puts the month of August now to around four inches above average, totaling nearly seven and a third so far, and we are also above average for the year to date by over an inch. We were well below average in spring. Through summer, we kind of got ourselves closer again, and now we've exceeded it this month or last month too. We uh, brought it back up. So we started to get to the plus side, and now that we have all this water in the last few months with more on the way, that's where flash flooding becomes a concern because while it was nice to have a break today and tonight we'll see the same, a few scattered showers are trying to push in tomorrow. Best chance is starting in the afternoon, and it could be with some strong storms could contain some severe weather, but the big thing is bursts of heavy, heavy rain like what we saw with that first round and more rounds overnight as we head into Friday morning. Still scattered. It looks a little bit more scattery on Friday. I think the model doesn't have a good grasp on what's going to happen after that first round, and I definitely do expect more development along the cold front uh, later on in the day on Friday for the evening too. So more rounds expected through Saturday morning, and then there's even another round later this weekend. So all of those rounds do have a severe risk, mostly for straight line wind gusts on the, that storm prediction center guideline that's a level one risk for all of the days so it's not particularly strong but it is a risk uh, mainly again for straight line wind gusts but flash flooding remains the main concern as we get more and more rounds of heavy rain tonight's lows 58 though as we get a little bit milder lows drop down as the humidity does too. dew points in the mid to upper 50s does lead us to a patch of chancy fog and because of the rain chances tomorrow highs will likely stay in the 70s. How high they get in the 70s depends on how early the rain and storms arrive. If we get some rain into the early afternoon, likely low 70s. If it holds off till the evening, likely upper 70s, but somewhere in the 70s looks likely. As do rain and storm chances, not all day. Really, the morning is going to be dry. It's the afternoon evening where it becomes likely and that continuing into the overnight hours. Uh, it will be a break at times on Friday. Looks more scattered. Uh, definitely looks like then Friday night into Saturday, there'll be another round break during the day Saturday, kind of ends early morning and begins perhaps in the evening again on Saturday, overnight into Sunday, could linger through midday, could be over by Sunday morning. But regardless, there's a chance still on the day on Sunday before we really clear out and slowly cool down as we go into the week, especially with those low temperatures getting into the 50s.